Welcome back to Silver State Trains. So today's agenda, I'm going to work on uh, doing the update to my yard, which is going to be the pull-through yard. Um, so today's sponsor, um, my dad very nicely uh, purchased the switches and the track that I needed uh, to get um, this project up and going. So, so I want to say thank you very much to my dad for, again, uh, helping me with this layout. He's been a tremendous help. Uh, what's kind of cool about this is uh, this this hobby is how it can um, it's it's a great way for you know father and son or what have you to uh, kind of work on something together and um, you know my dad um, way back in the I think late 80s early 90s on the east coast he had a the house that we had that, that had a basement he had a huge um, HO layout I want to say it was like 15 feet by by 20 or maybe even bigger than that it was pretty uh substantial layout it was um you know the length of the full width of our our house so you know he had that um as his hobby for quite a while and uh you know i'm in nevada he's in florida so um he's uh been enjoying you know watching this channel giving me a lot of tips and advice and um buying some of the some of the stuff has been uh fun for for him as well to kind of get back into the hobby we get to to do this together even though we're not in the same state so you know, it's a great thing for people um for a family to do together as, as a as a hobby but anyway moving on to this um so i'm going to just start ripping this up and putting this back together seeing how far i can get i still have some more track coming in the mail so this is going to be uh filmed probably over two days so with that i'm going to get going i may put on some background music uh in the video here so i'll just kind of be quiet and build and you guys can watch <music> ups guys here Or track, sweetness. When in doubt, drill big holes. You know, I just had a question or a thought. Do I need to insulate a crossover? I don't think so. Power needs to go in. Never mind. It's just the beer talking. Alright. I got that part done.
Stay hydrated, people. All right. Two main lines passing, one yard. We're chugging along. All right, well, that's as far as I can get today. I need the rest of the track to come in. I also need to order some additional track here, so to be continued. All right, this is day two, which is for me about a week later. It took me a little while to get some stuff in. I had to order some stuff from Train World to um, pick up some of the track that I had had missed. Also got some more track in from my dad as well. So thank you very much again, Dad. I appreciate it. Been a big help on this, so I'm gonna get back at it. All right, and just like that, the yard is done. So that is good to go. I'm working from home today on my lunch break, so diet soda it is for me. Now I'm gonna put it in my engine storage here. So with this part being my, my engine storage uh, track area, I am not going to insulate this Kato switch. And the reason for that is I can use the uh, Kato switch as a, as a block, if you will. So if I have this thrown so this area doesn't get any power, I can store all of my engines with sound decoders installed on there and it'll just kill the power so they'll be dead i won't have to mute them or anything and then when i put power back to this track it'll do the startup sequence again because i haven't figured out how to do that manually but as of right now this area is complete uh i just need to finish so what do i gotta do over there got some track pieces i can install down there but my yard is done so there we go. My only concern is it looks like I have a dramatic amount less of yard storage. So hopefully all the freight cars I currently have will actually fit here. Otherwise, I might have to get a little creative. But let me uh, throw power to the track and let's let's test it out. All right, well, I went ahead and moved some cars. Uh, I was going to film this, but I was uh, having a lot of problems, so I ended up just kind of fiddling with it, and here we are, I got it all set up. And this is take two, because I just finished filming, filming this, and my mic didn't work, so there was no sound. So I'm doing this again. The glorious uh, things of uh, filming videos. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. So here's kind of what I'm having. Um, my Atherns are having a hell of a time 
kind of run around this whole entire yard area for whatever reason. My Kados are eating it up pretty much no problem, except for my infamous switch right here, which is a little bugger. Um, power is having some problems there. So I'm, I'm hoping it's the unijoiner right there where I can replace it with some fresh ones and maybe that'll make the connection better. Um, my, my power feed, I have a, a, my feeder right there. So I just have one piece of curved track and then the, um, uh, my switch series ladder, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it should be getting enough power from that, that feeder right over there. I could put one in here, um, but I think it'll be okay. So replacing that, maybe cleaning the track a little bit. Hopefully that'll solve the problem. If it doesn't, that switch is bad and I got to get a new one, um, which I might have. Yeah, I do have one. I got a brand new one right there. So again, thank you, dad, for that. I appreciate it. But anyhow, my problem that I'm having is over here, which I had no problem with this before. So what's going on is... Uh, I have a feeder approximately under this engine somewhere. Once the engine backs up to about here, it dies. Um, I'm trying to remember if my Kados have an issue here. I don't think they did. I think it's just my Atherns. Um, but anyhow, every engine has an issue once it crosses into dead land here. No power at all. And I don't understand why. So I don't have any feeders over there. Sorry for that quick movement there. There is no feeders there because I wanted to utilize my switch um, to route power and kill power. So that way my engines with sound decoders would be dead on there when I hit that switch and not sitting there making a bunch of noise. Um, so when I flip the switch to route the power through here, nothing's happening. There is no power whatsoever. So I do have two switches here. These are both number sixes and they're kind of spun around of one another instead of running, you know, straight. Uh, I, I apologize, I don't know the proper terminology here, but um, I have the switch kind of turned around on one another. So I don't know if that's creating my problem, if I need to do some kind of fancy wiring with that. I don't know at this time. What I did do is I threw in some insulators right there, thinking that I could isolate that and maybe that would solve my problem. It didn't, so I'm still scratching my head. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. So if you guys see what my problem is just by looking at this, please, by all means, let me know so I can get this fixed because it's kind of kind of frustrating me a little bit. Because I finished this a couple of days ago, and for the life of me, I can't figure out what the heck's going on. Uh, but the yard itself, I do seem to have quite a bit of space in here. There's a little bit left, so I can scratch my itch of buying some more for freight cars and still still fit them. Nowhere near as much as what I could fit on my other yard layout but i really do like this 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 uh this run around design if you will pull through um i do think this works works rather nice uh, i'm looking forward to using it if i can get it to work properly these atherns for whatever reason are not happy right now so um, i've never cleaned any of my engines um so i haven't had them that long i only got started collecting these uh january ish so and I wouldn't think they'd be all that dirty, though, again, uh, a dirty garage that could be having some issues. So I'm going to work on trying to fix that. And, you know, try to run some trains in here, see if I like this layout, see if I want to add anything else before I, I glue this down. And I don't recall if I mentioned in a previous video, I ended up picking up uh, one more center station piece there to give me three instead of two back there i think that adds a nice little element there and fills up that area nicely so that's all done i picked up some plywood right there i'm going to cut that plywood for my mountain scene over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace these with with two by fours or two by threes so that way um Sorry, my allergies are really bad right now. Um, that way I can make this removable. So I was gonna cut out the foam so that the uh, two by threes, two by fours sink down into this, kind of locks it in. And then with some effort, I can lift the whole thing up. And uh, that way I can take the mountain scene out, clean underneath, service anything, uh, build this mountain scene somewhere else, and then I'll 
scenic in front of it, so there'll be a very small gap, hopefully. We'll see what my talents can do, if any, um, to make that look nice and blend it in. So we'll see. That's kind of what I'm planning for the future. But anyhow, hopefully my audio works this time. I don't have to do this for a third time. But with that, thank you all for watching, and you all have a good one.